All right, what's going on everyone? And yes, you read the title right. I did sell all of this cryptocurrency and it's with a heavy heart because I'm not happy I had to do it and we're gonna discuss exactly why I did it and the reason why I'm not happy at all with this project. We are also going to be addressing FUD in the space because there is so much happening right now and we're gonna try and wade through it and decide what is real and what we have to actually worry about and other stuff that really is just fear, uncertainty and doubt designed to get you to leave the space of crypto, right? With that said, if you don't know me already, my name's Connor, not a financial advisor. Just a guy sitting in his room talking about different ways to make money online. So we are gonna be discussing, of course, Arbitrum. Now, if you don't know what happened, Arbitrum team wrongly started utilizing the 750 million Arbitrum tokens before the vote was even done. So if you didn't know, the Arbitrum token is a governance token. It doesn't work as gas on the Arbitrum network. Ethereum, wrapped Ethereum does. Now, Arbitrum token should be a governance token. They put something to vote. People voted on it. They voted, here you can see, against it and Arbitrum decided to do it anyway. And now what they did was they basically sold a bunch of tokens and said that they didn't sell them. This is from their official Twitter. Regarding the on-chain transfers of 50 million Arbitrum tokens, 40 million tokens have been allocated as a loan to a sophisticated actor. A sophisticated actor in the financial markets space, the remaining 10 million, this is important, the remaining 10 million has been converted, converted into fiat and dedicated towards operational costs. Sorry, let me just open up this thread, scroll down to address the two key questions that are asked. One, the foundation did not sell 50 million tokens. Let's go down again. 40 million tokens have been allocated as a loan and 10 million tokens were converted into fiat. If one of you guys know how I can convert my crypto into fiat without selling it, I would love to hear from you guys. With that said, I didn't like this. I don't like this. They're a governance token and they didn't listen to the voters. And basically they just came out and said, it was just testing it. Hey, we were just testing it. It didn't actually matter if people voted for or against it, we were gonna do it anyway. Now, I don't like this. So I sold all of my Arbitrum. As you guys know here on the channel, we managed to get the Arbitrum airdrop. These were free tokens. And I was actually planning on dollar cost averaging into Arbitrum at prices that we're at right now, but I don't like this. Now with that said, guys, I'm not telling you guys to go out and sell your Arbitrum tokens. We've seen crazier things happen in this space where something like this, a news event, a FUD event, something like that actually makes the token pump because the price gets pushed down. Now. This could result in a lot of people selling, shaking people out, and then the price heading upwards. That's something I'm prepared to deal with at this moment, but I didn't like this. Now, with that said, I still think there is a lot of opportunity with Arbitrum ecosystem projects because the ecosystem is incredible. What they've created on Arbitrum works the best, in my opinion, so far as to what I found out there. We will also here on the channel be looking at ZK Sync Era, the new main net that has just gone live where I think there is a lot of opportunity. I actually mentioned a cryptocurrency on that that was uh, that launched a few days ago. I mentioned it at a $1 million market cap in my Patreon and it's gone up 3X since then. So if you guys do wanna stay up to date with these calls, there is a link down there in my description to my Patreon. You get access to my private Discord where you see my trades, my research, you have access to myself and my team and a bunch of awesome people. So if you fancy it, the link is down there in the description. And if you don't like it within the first three days, you can just drop me a message and I'll give you a full refund, no questions asked, because I know you're gonna like it. With that said though, that's what's happening with Arbitrum. Let's jump over to Bitcoin and see what's happening there. You can see we are still in our area of resistance here between around 28,000 and just under 29,000 there. We have been playing with this region for the last four or five days here, deciding what's gonna happen. Now, if we do zoom in a little bit here on the BitGet chart, we can see that we did drop out of this higher region of resistance down to these mid-level regions, but actually having a nice bounce here, which could be showing some actual strength here, maybe a double bottom here on the shorter term time frame coming in. What I would love to see was for us to break around this 29,100 region for us potentially to move on higher. Now, if you believe that we are gonna break this, or we're gonna break down from here. You can trade over on BitGear. There is up to $10,000 worth of a deposit bonus just from following the link down there in my description, but please do be careful with the amount 
amount of leverage that you use in the space. Now, moving on to the overall markets, we can see the S&P 500 pushing upwards in a clear uptrend here. And we have broken again back above this trend that we saw us push below just a few weeks ago. So this is very good to see here. The DXY still seemingly in mostly a downtrend here, although we did move up just yesterday up to 102. But these regions have been relatively good for the cryptocurrency markets overall. Now, the Crypto Greed and Fear Index today still sitting in greed, which you know I like to be careful in these moments. It is a good opportunity to get smaller cap coins in moments like this because the market is euphoric and things can pump. But remember, if something pumps, say you find something over on the ZK Sync era mainnet, find something over there. If you do get profits, book those profits, get your initial out as quickly as possible so you guys can protect your downside if we were to see it. Now, before jumping into the FUD articles and we get a little bit doom, doom and gloomy here on the channel, I wanted to remind you guys of Danone Protocol, which I spoke about to you guys at a three million dollar market cap just a month or so ago which is incredible right this is up huge since then so congratulations to anyone who did manage to see that video awesome still making money in this market and if you do want to stay up to date with any of these sorts of videos where i talk about these relatively unknown projects do smash up that subscribe button because it will really help me in the youtube algorithm and if you did see that video do me a favor and smash that like button right now because again, that's gonna help me immensely here. Now, moving on to the FUD. I saw this yesterday. Crypto exchange Crypto.com is under investigation by the US government agencies and may collapse or stop operating in the US. Now, I thought that was a very strange way to put it with no backing, with no news source or anything like that. But Chris from Crypto.com has, has come out and said, this is absolutely false. Please report this account for spreading misinformation. So those are two people saying two different things. Of course, no one is backing that up with any proof. But I wanted to show you that in case anyone else did see this and thought that there was risk there with Crypto.com. Again, guys, if you are holding money on Crypto.com and this sort of thing worried you, get the money off. Put it in cold storage and protect your downside. With that said, from the same people who said that Crypto.com is under investigation, we also see Japanese Financial Services Agency has flagged Bybit, Bitpoint Japan, Bisco Currency Exchange, and Last Roots Corp for operating exchanges without necessary registration. So I'm sure we're going to hear more from that later on, but potentially more exchanges coming under scrutiny from another country over in Japan. We also have just seen crypto exchange Bittrex shut down US operations due to to regulatory uncertainty. So that's another crypto exchange leaving the US. We see Aussie regulators turn up the heat on the world's biggest exchange being Binance. So basically every day we're seeing more and more regulation coming in for these centralized exchanges. Now to me, does that mean that crypto is over? Crypto is dead? There's no space for this emerging technology? No, not in any way. But the centralized entity that have ruled the markets over the last few years, this may be starting to change. It may be more geared towards decentralized exchanges and things like that. So I'd be prepared for that. I would protect myself by not holding any money on centralized exchanges unless I'm doing active trading with it. That's how I do it myself. Most of my money is on my cold storage ledger. And that's how I protect myself, guys. Of course, you can do whatever you want. I do still use centralized exchanges. I understand the benefits of them, but Keep yourself safe and don't be caught off guard if one of them collapses in the near future. With that said, hopefully I provided you some value today. If I did, smash the like button, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.